The second activity of the solar oven module may be done directly after the first activity, or they may be done, be done on different days, depending on your program. In this activity, students explore the position of the sun in the sky throughout the day. They will need this information in order to position their solar ovens when they are ready to cook. Students will explore math concepts used to describe the position of the sun in the sky and learn the concepts of solar angle and direction in this activity. For this activity, you will need a bubble level, wooden skewers, and a compass. The level works by simply placing it on the surface you want to measure. The closer the bubble is to being exactly between the two lines, the closer the surface is to level. To use a compass, be sure that it is being held level, let the needle stop shaking, and the colored end of the needle will point north. Ask the students the following question to get them started in this activity. Where is the sun in the sky? The students may point and might say, oh, it's right there. What we really want to do is find a way to describe its position in the sky mathematically. Ask the students what measurements they can make using these tools to determine and describe the position of the sun in the sky. Give them a few minutes to experiment. And finally, ask them how they would describe where is the sun in the sky. The two measurements we want students to identify are the direction of the sun and the solar angle. Both may be identified by the shadow. The students can line the compass up with the direction of the shadow to determine the angle of the sun. The solar angle is a little bit tricky. The length of the shadow may be measured to determine how high or low in the sky the sun is. A longer shadow means the sun is lower in the sky, and a shorter shadow means the sun is higher in the sky. The students don't need to make this measurement. We just want the students to understand the relationship. If they're having difficulty expressing these ideas, try suggesting terms like high in the sky or low in the sky. As an optional extension activity, you could use the length of the shadow and the length of the skewer along with the tangent function to determine the exact solar angle. In the end, ask the students why this activity is important for their solar ovens. The reason is that keeping the solar oven pointed towards the sun makes it much more effective.